Hi, this is your instructor, Timinuska Fuller, and today we will do our first um, discussion forum on how to use Excel to generate random numbers. And at first, these random numbers would be dancing numbers, which we will generate in column one, and I will show you why they are dancing. Then we will copy the dancing number, one variant of this dancing number, we will freeze them in column B and in column C we will sort those numbers. Then we will divide the numbers in interval, intervals and we'll find the frequency is in each interval. Your goal is to tell me here underneath whether let me see how to merge these cells and to get some beautiful color. Whether what is the shape of this distribution without even having the, uh, the graph, you can tell me what is the shape. If you slide a little bit, you will see that you have to have your name and what it is. It is chapter 3 discussion forum and then uh, you have a little bit help from the instructor. Uh, all the functions are here with, of course, I use quotation mark, otherwise they will give me something that I don't want. So in Excel, anytime we want to say something, we want to calculate anything, we put equal. And now I will put a function. The function is, is rent between. You see, it will appear rent between and I want the following. I want between zero, comma, 99. This, this is the first number. Then I will copy this function and it will give me different number anytime I copy the formula. I will go to up to cell uh, 30. Oops. Control C. Up to cell 30 and then the rest shouldn't be here. Okay, so I will have 30 random numbers. Now, let, let's see what will happen if I put equal this cell. It was 12, right? Now look what it is, 98. So it is dancing because anytime you uh, address the cell, any cell, let's say this cell is 9, and here I will put equal the cell A4, and it, it it's changing. So I cannot work with these dancing numbers, although if you make some simulations in the future, you will need exactly this feature of dancing numbers. So in column B, I first will select all these numbers. They are 30 random dancing numbers. We'll click edit in my case and we'll copy and then I will click on the cell I want to copy, it is B, and I will click Edit and Paste Special, and I will paste just values. You see the third one, values. In different Excel variant it can be different, but let's see why I need values. Let's say that I want B1, and it is 90, 96 as I click, but, and that's it equal oops equal let's see this is 56 and it stays they, those are frozen values they don't change so in cells b everything is frozen in cell c i will copy all these frozen numbers okay and I will copy them. There are different ways, Control c Control b but I will click Copy and then we'll go back in C1 and we'll put Edit, Paste. They are already values. And then I want to sort all this. I want to sort from smallest, from smallest to greatest. So here is my formula. Uh, continue with the current selection. I don't want to do anything else. And I will sort from 
smallest which is 2 to greatest which is um, let's see what is it shouldn't be more than 99 and it is 99 so I want first from 0 to 20 equal to 20 this is my first frequency and how many I have I have five numbers so my frequency in the first interval from 0 to 20 less than 0 and equal to 20 I should have here uh, less or equal to 0 less or equal to 0 less or equal to 20 because everything should be inclusive uh, then I have the second interval from 20 to 40 let's see how many are from 20 to 40 these numbers and I will put them in pink or whatever color it is okay I have two four six numbers in the second interval between 20 and 40 I have six numbers then between 40 to 60 so it starts at 46 and ends at 48 and I have oh not this color again I will do blue I have two five numbers five numbers okay between 60 to 80 including 80 these are the numbers I will use here this green color no it's not a good idea I will use purple and there are two four five numbers five numbers again and the last one I left how many? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 numbers. Yes, 9 numbers are in the last cell. Oops, 9. Oh, 9 numbers. So this is my frequency distribution. This is how it looks like. Of course, it is uh, very strange. It, it is um, skewed to the right side because uh, actually skewed to the left side I have my maximum at the end you can insert chart and I want to be a skater plot for example let's be a skater plot Okay. so this is how it looks like this little uh, histogram and then I can use columns okay let's say I'm using this type of simple columns and then uh, I can come here and look for histogram which is something like this and then I can change this histogram to be something more beautiful you see it's obviously it is to the left skewed to the left and the maximum is on the uh, right side of the histogram once again I showed you how to do random numbers between 0 and 99 how to fix the values of these numbers in column B how to sort these numbers by using the sorting from A to Z from smallest to greatest or oh. and then I count the intervals I divided my 30 numbers in data the data into um, five intervals I believe they are five okay so my x-axis has five intervals and my y-axis has the total of 30 numbers distributed in these intervals at the moment I would like to calculate three functions let's say the first one is average average and you remember that all my data is in b1 to b30 what is the average of my data you see it takes only a second what is the mode of my data
again the range is B1 to B30 this is the mode so this is average mode and finally median what is the median so mode is 11 and my median equal median B1 column B30 you see the functions are here you can even copy and paste them it is very close to the average 57.5 and this is all for today this is the mode the median and the mean calculated real real fast